Hello, welcome back to my tutorial series, Jacoby here. So this is part two on how to kick two. Part one looked at how kick two worked. This one is all about how to make a kick. Now, obviously the subject of kicks is quite a broad subject. Um, even in hard dance, you know, different different genres have different kicks, different kicks work better at BPMs, etc. So what I'm going to aim to do is kind of show you how to make a kind of utility kick, something that's that you can mold into your own kick at whichever BPM you like. So a kick that kind of works more broadly across a couple of different genres, BPMs, etc. That's my aim anyway. So let's dive in, have a look at that. First of all, we'll work working in MIDI, so I'm going to set up a MIDI clip and then I'm going to add a kick in on a half note. So this would be a full note here, that would be a quarter, half, three quarters, etc. So half note, which means you've got four of those on a bar. I've also loaded in scope and that's just so I can kind of monitor the how the kick looks and also the low end of the kick as well because that's really important. So into kick two, going to load this up. It loads up on default, which sounds like this. So yeah, not really what we're looking for today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mute the sub and just concentrate on the clicks. I wanna get a nice kind of harder click, something that's, that's a little more kind of rough, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. Um, I think some of these clicks maybe don't quite hit where I'd want. Um, so let's have a quick look through. I'm going to go with 15, it's slightly cleaner than 14, although 14 is also good. That's great. Um, I'm also going to click on the view here, so you'll be able to see them pop up just here. Just, just so I can visualize, again, just so I can see kind of everything and it just allows me to keep control of the um, each part of the kick drum. I'm going to leave the pitch as it is. I'm going to find something else I think can kind of maybe work with that, so... Eight's pretty good, I like that. Just adds a little bit of high end to it. And as I mentioned in my last tutorial, you can drag and drop kicks uh, tops in here as well. So if you've got something from a kick you've made previously in another track or whatever, or another synth, you can you can load that in here and use that. Okay, I'm liking that. That works for me. It's a little, yeah, it's a little more gritty, uh, something that kind of is going to punch through at a higher BPM. So I'll unmute the sub and have a look into how we can shape this up. So first of all, I'm going to look into the amp and I'm just going to reshape the kick. First of all, the length is important. So I'm going to bring that down to around the, the, around the kind of 1.9 second mark as sorry 0.19 second mark so i know from um from working at kind of high bpms 160 165 170 a kick around that length is, is roughly going to snap in give or take a little bit into where you want it so you might, you might have to just shorten it at the end of the process but that's going to be uh going to be short enough to kind of get something going going to bring the overall volume of it down as well. I want the uh, click, the attack, the fundamental of it at the start just to kind of be on par with it, maybe even slightly louder. Otherwise it gets overpowered by the sub. That dip there, you can see from the shape of it, has just created a little space between the click, the attack of the kick, and then the sub. Maybe bring that up a bit.
Okay. So I'm going to click on to the piano roll, which means it's going to snap it into the key here. So at the moment, it's hitting in a C, which is a bit too high. Um, So, so this is the pitch envelope here, and this controls the kind of sound of the f and, and the sound of the kick, and also the depth of the kick as well. So, you know, something that's up here is going to sound. It's not really much sub to it to make it kick. It's more like a laser sound. So, it's a hugely important part of designing the kick. When it's higher up like this, you get that kind of more lasery kind of feel. If I create an extra node here. All of a sudden, you get that lower, deeper kind of feel kick, which is what I want to go for today. You don't need lots and lots of these, in my opinion. I think probably where we're at now with five it is a good start. I mean, you've obviously got to have two. You've got to have one at each end um, and then three in between. So I think for me, that, that that's always a good area. I mean, if, I think if you have too many, sometimes it's firstly unnecessary. Um, and, and secondly, you, you can kind of just tail off um, a little bit. I think keeping it simple would be my advice when it comes to making a kick. going to carve a little bit more out i think the clip the click here is slightly uh slightly in the way of everything so i'm going to shorten the length of this if i get rid of it you can hear already that there's literally no click no attack i can hear there there's a slight clash so I've moved the start here of this one. You can see here that moving. Um, and when I zoom in here, it's maybe not starting where I'd want it to. So I've just moved that across there. Those seem to line up. So I, I mentioned with the pitch, keeping that simple, the amp generally can get a little more complicated depending on how you want it. Um, I feel like this shape kick here does require a few more points there to get the kind of shape right, to get a bit more in depth with it. Um, however, this kick is starting to sound kind of how I'd want it to. And also look how I'd want it to as well. Just, just these. 
So I'll just summarize what we've done very quickly. So we've created the shape of the kick in the amp um, and then adjusted the pitch so it goes like that. So you, it goes from high to a lower frequency and that's created a kick which looks like that. So what I wanted to do with this was just create a kick, sound designer kick. So there's no processing. I've not, I've not added any EQ, any saturation, anything like that. This was literally just to kind of make a kick, a punchy kick for hard dance. There we go. So a few adjustments there. That sounds kind of how I'd want it to. So in summary, I added some clicks, which would be suitable for hard dance, something a little bit rough um, that, that would just punch through at a higher BPM, shaped the amp here, uh, and then did exactly the same, shaped the LFO to create a kick that I thought would work across like different hard dance genres. So bounce it to audio. Here is the finished kick drum. And this is what it sounds like. So if you want this kick, I have included the Kick 2 preset uh, as a free download for you guys. It's in the description. I've also got tons more tutorials on my Patreon as well if you want to subscribe to that. And on my Patreon, there's also monthly sample packs, monthly song starter MIDI packs. You get feedback on your music and also one-to-one -one coaching with me as well. So yeah, links for that is in the, in the description also. And finally, I also have a site with tons of sample packs, preset packs, templates, etc. Again, link for that is also in the description as well. Thank you for listening. If you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe and look out for more. See you again soon.